Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter silvered wings. We have a wall of heroes in Gatineau at Vintage Wings of Canada, people we particularly admire, but today one of the banners has been removed. We've hung it in a different place to celebrate his 100th birthday, and he knows nothing about it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Stocky. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hip hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Stocky has had a huge influence on us. The collection reflects that, and the people understand it too. Stocky, I got someone here who wants to say a couple of words. Hey, Stocky. Well, I've got the privilege of standing in front of what I believe you once told me was your favorite airplane, and mine too, Spitfire, uh, to give you my personal. Uh, Best wishes for uh, your birthday. Uh, I want to wish you the warmest congratulations on reaching this wonderful milestone. And I'm just going to reflect back a little bit to what I think was the first time I met you, your first visit to us here. And I think it was 14 years ago. Uh, and uh, you came to uh, christen an airplane that we had, uh, had restored, the, the Kitty Hawk. And I asked you while you were here if you would visit uh, the school where my kids went. Uh, to school grade four and five and talk a little bit to them about uh, your life and you graciously accepted that invitation and i remember to this day you standing in front of uh, about 40 girls uh, grade four grade five sitting cross-legged on the floor you told them a bit about your life and you very quickly opened it up to a dialogue between them and uh, the very first question reflected what was there on their minds they wanted to hear the war stories uh, and the first question was, uh, Mr. Edwards, what did you like most about the war? Do you remember that? Do you remember your answer? You paused and you said, what I liked most was the opportunity to lead men. And then you talked to them about what leadership meant. Uh, you talked to them about uh, duty and patriotism. And these girls who went there to hear war stories, they heard somebody talk about values and what was important in life. And I'll never forget that, and I know that they will never forget it. And I want to thank you very much for everything you've done, everything you've given us, and it wasn't all on the battlefield. Thank you very much, Scott Stocky, and happy birthday. Well, a Spitfire is hard to beat, but... Stocky flew with us in the Harvard, and then with me in the P-40, he actually got a chance to fly the airplane because we can rig it as a dual control, and that was a tremendous honor for me. Hi, Stocky. I am standing in front of the airplane that you taught me so much about. Happy birthday in your hundreds. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. In December 2006, you opened up your home to me. And I, I was there full of questions about the propeller in the engine. and Do we wheel land it? Do we three point it? How do I fly this fighter? Never done anything like that before. And you spoke to me pilot to pilot. And then later, you, you took me through your logbook, page by page, mission by mission. I've never forgotten that. And that's one of the reasons in 2018, I flew that Spitfire 5,000 miles to visit you uh, to Comox and back. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, that airplane. And what you did meant so much to me. That's one of the main reasons I took that airplane up, so I could I could put you in a Spitfire again. Anyway, my very, very best wishes to you, Stocky, and to Tony. Happy birthday. 
One of the aircraft's stock he flew was the Hawker Hurricane. And he pronounces it that way because that's the way they did it back then. It's Hurricane, not Hurricane. He checked out on it in the operational training unit in England and then ferried one from Takaradi, Africa, in what is now Ghana, all the way across to Egypt. A tremendous journey for a 20-year-old from Battleford, Saskatchewan. Our own Mark 12 Hurricane is just finishing its restoration. And here's Paul Tremblay of Vintec Aero. Hey Stocky, uh, on behalf of all the guys at Vintec Aero who maintain the airplanes, uh, we want to wish you a happy 100. A uh, long time ago, 15 years ago, we started on this journey of maintaining warbirds over here uh, in Ottawa. Uh, Mike uh, gave us a platform to show our skills, turn wrenches, and uh, every day we kind of think about the guys that were flying these during World War II. My grandmother, Gladys Hicks, uh, survived the London bombings. Her brother was a prisoner of war, and she always says, uh, thank God for the Canadians. So happy 100, Stocky. You take care. And finally, Stocky, we've got one more well-wisher, someone who's flown both jets and props with us. In fact, his favorite airplane is, I think, your other favorite airplane. Stocky, hi. Colonel Chris Hadfield here. I have immense respect for you. You fought in the war in defense of our country and the things we believe in. You were a leader of men under times of tremendous stress when you were a very young man. You operated some of the most complex machinery under extremely hazardous and, and uh, demanding conditions, and you did it so well. Uh, and that inspired so many people. It, the things that you did were the things that inspired me as a kid to try and do different things with my life. And you continue to do that through your whole life, and you're still working with youth and with organizations to inspire and lead today. So I thank you for that. And I wish you, from the bottom of my heart, and from all that I've ever done, a very happy 100th birthday. Up, up the long, delirious burning blue. I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace. 